Hello guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we'll learn how to use properly Tornado Cash in order to anonymize your transactions on different blockchains, Ethereum, BSC, Polygon. You have to watch this video before using Tornado Cash because if you will not follow the steps, you might think that you're keeping your privacy by using Tornado Cash, but because you use it in the wrong way, it will be actually possible to reveal your identity of your destination wallet. So watch this step-by-step -step tutorial how to do it properly. And if you want to learn more in depth how Tornado Cash works, make sure to check the video in the description below or search for how Tornado Cash works Johnny Time on YouTube to find my technical tutorial about how Tornado Cash works. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button and turn on the bell notification button for more videos like this in the future. And now Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so my first tip to you to use Tornado Cash properly is use a VPN. Why do you want to use a VPN? Basically because you want to be overly proactively suspicious and in protective mode because you don't know what might happen and if you deposit and withdraw the funds from the same IP address on the same country or same geolocation it might be easy to detect the deposit and withdraw destination and what is VPN? VPN is simply a program that lets you browse to the internet it connects to the internet through different server through different IP address so when I use Tornado Cash I always use a VPN okay so I use the VPN in order to deposit a transaction maybe from Canada and then withdraw it to a different wallet through Czech Republic okay so it's always important to use VPN and if you want to get a very uh, trustworthy VPN very easy to use and very cheap actually uh, you can use my promotion link in the description below it's NordVPN it's one of the best VPNs that I know I use it for years and you can get a slight discount by using my link in the description below so make sure to use VPN before you deposit and withdraw funds so let's say now this is the first step where we want to deposit funds so first I'm going to open the NordVPN and just select a randomly country to connect to this country let's say Croatia once I'm connected to Croatia, I can verify that my IP address is in Croatia. By searching what is my IP, I can see my IP address and also I can go to the website what is my IP address with, that will probably tell me also my location and now I can verify that even though I'm not in Croatia, my IP address and geolocation that all the websites and all the logs that are being stored on me say that now I'm browsing from Croatia and I can uh, simply use the Tornado Cash app. Now I'll click launch app and go to the Tornado Cash app. Now the first app will be to deposit the funds from the destination wallet that is basically connected to and labeled with your name or you want to hide the funds that are going out from this wallet. So I will make sure to connect to this wallet. So this is the account that I want to uh, mix the tokens from to another account. So here I have 0 0.8 something BNB and now you can either choose, this is just an example for Binance Smart Chain, but you can do the same on Ethereum, Polygon, Optimism or other EVM chains that are supported by Tornado Cash. And here you need to choose how many BNB in that case you want to deposit, all right? So why you cannot supply your custom amount? Because if you would be able to supply the custom amount, it would be easier to detect and connect the deposit and withdraw from functions because it would be the same amount. Let's say you it's custom amount 0 0.5555 and then there is a withdrawal of 0 0.555. It will be very easy to connect the two addresses of the deposit and the withdrawal. So that's why you have fixed amounts only. And in this example, we're going to use 0 0.1 BNB and I'm going to click here deposit. Now this is the most important part. You need to make sure to keep in a right place this private node. It both shows it to you and also download automatically a text file. So make sure to not lose it because using this note, you will be able later on to withdraw and release the funds from the Tornado Cash smart contract. Once you backed up the, this kind of node and save the file, you can click here, I backed up the node and send a deposit. Now the Tornado Cash will initiate a new transaction for you using Metamask to deposit this 0 0.1 BNB into the Tornado Cash smart contract. I'm gonna click here, confirm. And 
That's basically it. Now it's depositing the transaction as being sent to the Binance Smart Chain. And once it's verified, the BNB will be deposited to the Tornado Cash. And you can see that it's done. Now I lost 0 0.1 BNB, but right here I have the note that I can use later on. This is a cryptographic uh, proof message that I can send to the smart contract in order to redeem my deposited tokens from another wallet. So that's how I can mix the funds from one wallet to another. Now, another very important thing, you have to wait. You have to wait that more people will deposit funds to the Tornado Cash smart contract. Why this is very important? Because if your deposit transaction, right after it, there will come a withdrawal transaction of 0.1 BNB, it will be quite bad. Why it will be quite bad? Because it will be very easy to connect the deposit and the withdrawal transaction. So make sure to wait a while and, and observe this kind of latest deposits so people uh, deposit after you so the transaction will be anonymized. After you've waited for a while, it might be five minutes, one hour, one day, maybe two days, you should not be worried because the funds are safe because once you have the note, you can withdraw them, but make sure to wait. A, the more time you will basically wait until you withdraw them, the more anonymity you will achieve because more and more people are gonna deposit and withdraw and your transactions will be blinded, blended into this kind of other transaction and the funds will be mixed. So once you waited this amount of time, at least several hours one day the next thing that I want you to do is to close your browser close your browser and disconnect from the country that you were connected onto the VPN and then connect to a different country because you don't want that the IP address of the deposit and the IP address of the withdrawal will be the same IP address so that's what I'm doing and now this time I'm gonna connect to let's say Netherlands okay the deposit was from Croatia and now the withdrawal gonna be from Netherlands so you make sure you're connected and again verify it by checking your IP address I can verify that now my IP address is on Amsterdam I'm using uh, the VPN so now all the logs that are being logged on me will be from this IP address that is located in Amsterdam all right, once you make sure that you are connected to another country and your IP address is from this VPN country, you can paste in your note address that you downloaded earlier before and you backed up and then here you paste your recipient address. This is the address that will get the funds that you deposited earlier on and this is the address that will be anonymous. So it will be funded with this kind of 0 0.1 BNB that we deposited uh, without any trails to the original depositor. And here you can see that there is a real layer that's gonna execute the transaction this is very very important because this is a newly created wallet it cannot send transaction to the Binance Smart Chain because it doesn't have BNB you want to fund it from scratch so it will be anonymous that's why we have real errors these are the guys that are gonna send the transactions for us we just gonna click here withdraw okay I'm not gonna withdraw because I didn't wait for enough time but if you click here withdraw you will be able to the funds will come to your uh, wallet, but you can see that the real layer is taking 0.15%, which is not that much for the anonymi anonymity that you get in this transaction. So once you paste the note, paste the recipient address, click withdraw, and you are supposed to get the money to the newly wallet. So if you followed all these steps, step by step, the VPN, the waiting between the time and also depositing and withdrawing from different wallets, you should be quite anonymous and quite private. And there, there is no risk for your identity to be revealed after you did this kind of, you use the Tornado Cash protocol properly with my explanation. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or join the Discord community. And if you enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe for other interesting videos that come up in the future. Thank you so much for learning with me and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye.